everyone. Welcome to MSF Tip Webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to configure a telemetry settings for Windows devices in Microsoft Intune. Telemetry, also known as a diagnostic data, is required for Windows analytics solutions like Windows Update Readiness. One of the requirements for future update to work is setting up the telemetry in the device. The telemetry in the device should be turned on and set to required so that the device can send the relevant data. Sign in to the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center as a global administrator or an Intune service administrator. We can access Microsoft Endpoint Manager using the URL https endpoint.microsoft.com On home page, click on Devices. Under Policy, click on Configuration Profiles. Click on Create Profile Plus icon. Select Windows 10 and later as a platform type. Click on drop down arrow and select Templates Profile Type. Now click on Device Restrictions or Template Name. Click on Create. On the Basic tab, enter a descriptive name for this device configuration profile so we can easily identify them later. We have given name Taste Configure Telemetry for Windows Devices. Description is optional but recommended. Click on Next. In Configuration Settings, click on Reporting and Telemetry. Click on drop down arrow to choose the level of diagnostic data that is submitted. Not configured is selected by default. If not configured is selected, then Intune doesn't change or update the settings on Windows devices. We can turn off the telemetry by selecting Diagnostic Data Off option. You can use the same steps to disable telemetry and configure the shared usage data with a value of Diagnostic Data Off to disable it. With required option, device sends basic device information including quality related data, app compatibility and other similar data to keep the device secure and up-to-date. Enhance option was used with earlier version of Windows 10. When this option is deployed to a device that run Windows 10 1909 and later, the device is set to required. Let me remind you that for feature updates policy, the device must have telemetry turned on with a minimum setting of required. But in this test environment, we'll go with optional option. With optional option, all the data necessary to identify and help to fix problems plus data from the required level will be sent. So here, we will select optional option. We do not need to configure other settings. Let's click on next. Set scope tags if needed. Default scope tag is already selected and we will go with the default scope tag. Click on next. We have created one security group named update monitor test devices. We have added one test device to that group. We want to assign this profile to that group for testing purpose. Click on add groups. From the list, Select Update Monitor Test Devices group. Click on Select. We can confirm we have one device in our test group. Click on Next. On Applicability Rules page, click on Next to continue. In Review Plus Create page, review the settings which we have configured for this device restriction profile. When ready, click on Create and wait for the confirmation message. We can see the confirmation message that the profile created successfully. Click on refresh to see the updated profile list. 
Uh, this is the profile of which we have created. Configure telemetry for Windows devices. Uh, let me click on this uh, profile name and I think I have made a mistake. I click on uh, added basic settings and let me change the name. Okay, now it is a devices. Let me click on review plus save and click on save. Perfect. Let me close this. Click on refresh. Okay, now we have the correct name. Test configure telemetry for Windows devices. Okay, so the device configuration profile is configured and assigned to the test device group. To see the result, let's go to our test Windows 10 device. First of all, we are going to initiate manual sync with Intune. Click on sync and wait for the process to complete. Okay, sync was completed successfully. To see the results quickly, I'm going to restart this Windows 10 VM. After restart, let's again sign in to this Windows 10 device. We will check for registry entries to confirm that the profile applied successfully on this device. Open Run menu, type RagEdit and press Enter key. Click on Yes. This will open Registry Editor. Go to HK Local Machine, Software, Policies, Microsoft and click on Windows. Expand Windows and now we need to click on Data Collection. Here we can see the registry entry with the name Allow Telemetry Policy Manager with the value 3 as we have selected optional option in device configuration profile. So we can confirm that the device configuration profile to configure telemetry settings for Windows devices is applied successfully on our test Windows 10 device. We also want to confirm the same from Intune portal. But before that, let's one more time initiate manual sync with Intune. Let's double click on the shortcut, click on info, click on sync to initiate manual sync with Intune. Let's go back to Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. First of all, I'm going to click on refresh. Click on our policy name uh, which is configured telemetry for Windows devices. Click on view report. We can see check-in status for our test Windows 10 device. Check-in status is success which confirm that the telemetry configuration profile is applied successfully on our test Windows 10 device named labwin10-cli02. Let me remind you that we have configured telemetry settings for our Windows 10 device because that is the one of the requirement to successfully configure feature update deployment policy. That's all for this video on how to configure telemetry settings for Windows devices in Microsoft Intune. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.